morning everybody oh yes back to lockman big thank you to everyone who commented on the the video yesterday about the doing dailies over the like kind of the lockdown the daily lockdown so hopefully we can do as many as we can so we'll start now because we actually we might actually not even go in but i've got a feeling the kind of mps will pass it so there we go and maybe we might get like a little bit of a resurgence of folks up here because i mean we've got regulars mark's always up you know mark who's done all this work and actually who's fitted out my veg baskets this whole year so there's a few folks still come up but there is as you can see i don't know if you can see gardens that are still <laughs> that's just you know what i mean i know people are on five-year waiting lists you hear so it's such a shame when there's gardens there going, but got the girl again, dears, what are you doing? So, yes, we're up here today, spend a bit more time in the garden. So I bet you're wondering, were the parsnips nice? The parsnips were gorgeous. Forgot me bloody fork, left that in. But the parsnips were worked so well. Man, I've shoved the bits with them. So uh, there was actually somebody mentioned, was it, was it Stan mentioned that? What did you say, Stan? I can't even remember what he said. I'm sure he said freeze them first and then, you know, then it'll give that sweetness flavour of the, of the kind of pretending it's a frost. Is that what you said, Stan? I can't remember. And look at she's waiting. <laughs> she likes being in the... <laughs> the poly It's a bit chilly this morning, lads. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello. Anyway, so what I thought was, we'll go in there. She wanders all over. Me stuff, but I'm, I'm going to not stress out about it today. I think that's I've got to learn more about that, not stressing out. But I was thinking of doing something with the garlic because they'll just sit there and I'll not get them done. Do you know what I mean? So, what I'm hoping to do is get some of these bulbs and plant them out here in one of them beds. I mean, that bed's still quite a bit full, but. That bed's looking as if almost finished. Do you know what I mean? A quick weed might put some compost on it and like plant around it. Do you know what I mean? Because I take some of them, I might take a couple today, but then I think that's the plan. Look at that. I've just noticed them weeds there and dandelion. <gasps> Did I tell you what? Just oh, shocking. Right. So yes, wheelbarrow, that's what I need. Bit of, bit of combust. This is this mix, this, I'm finding it brilliant, mind you, to be kind of smothering everything, all the kind of compressing the weeds. So what I'm going to do on that one, there is weeds in it. A little trial, I'm just going to not bother even, like, hoeing them out. That's me plan. I mean, it goes without saying, this will not last forever. So, mind it. What a difference when it doesn't hurt as much. You know what I mean? I can just kind of get a good load on me bloody shovel. Ooh. Ooh. Now these haven't been spectacular and every time I've wanted one, I've had to like use two. But there's been a nice little stop gap, so I'll take that one. Watch out, dears. Watch out. And I'm just cutting them off. And I'm just leaving the roots in there, to be honest. They'll just kind of rot down and go. So I'll do. So can you see that's that? I'm just going to hopefully just smother all these leaves and kill it off and it's not a big deal if I come back there you go two I've put two on so there's quite a bit I've went on there probably about three inches at least you know but hopefully that'll give it a nice dampen down but what I want to show you I think I'll do the garlic in that one is this have a look can you see? Yeah. 
there, look, can you see me garlic going through? So that's away there now. So I'm chuffed with that, to be honest. I mean, it'll stay a little bit dormant, but at least it's, it's all through and it's right at the back to kind of just keep out of the way. So if you like this show, do think about subscribing, especially in this month we're doing, with you know, we're in lockdown hell again. I'm going to try and do as many shows as I can every day. Uh, we're not <laughs> one show a day, hopefully. We'll see how it goes, but do subscribe, hit the like button and the thumbs up as well. And it just means you get to know when they're coming out and what time they're coming out as well. Because, like I say, we're going to do like a, a special month in November just to keep everyone's morale up as well. So that would be fantastic. So I mentioned, and if you know, if you're kind of new to the channel, I normally get when we go away, I normally get hello, hello, like the oh, oh, she's there, yeah, she's there. I normally get me garlic, sorry from abroad you know what i mean if we're going on holiday or anything like that i'll i'll pick it up in the kind of street car street car street vendor or something like that but with lockdown and everything like we haven't been away this year so that first batch was bought from the garlic farm this is purple early white it's just bought off ebay now it took a couple of days to get postage over and i'm thinking it's possibly come from say europe maybe this you know what i mean i mean i don't know i might be totally wrong there but we'll get it in anyways i mean it was a nice price do you know what i mean for for what you got i think you bought excuse me i'm, I'm holding up for a professional but you know you got a bag like that and actually i can see one of the garlics shooting through there so it's about time i got it in so you got a bag and i forget what it was the price was do you know what i mean but we'll get them in how oh, yeah. I, I forgot to mention there look at so i planted those ones which are the same as the the ones in the in in the polytunnel the 6th of october now i put some elephant garlic in that one and actually i crammed it in a little bit daisy off there come on off what's what's that well that's me onions like the yellow onions winter onions but the, the the garlic hasn't or the elephant garlic hasn't and i've never grown elephant garlic i think i had some bulbs once put them in and it was well that's when I say I haven't grown it, I've I failed. I haven't, I haven't had a success with it. So I'm not going to fret, mind you, about these. If they, if they work, they work. If they don't, they don't. But we'll see how it go there. Look, you can see that one. Got a little bit. Well, we'll put it in. Get it in. That's the beauty, mind you, with no dig. It's just soft as silk, the soil. So you can just kind of bang them in. Mind, I'll be honest, they're some lovely, you know, when I'm planting them, they're all uniform, nice size bulb. So I'm, I'm off to a good start. It's up to me now <laughs> to carry it forward. That's two and a half packets in there. And after, like I say, I wasn't bothered there, but after putting them in and seeing what the, the quality was like, I'm hoping they're all right, to be honest. I'd, but I say the word purple early white. It's the second pencil. We'll see if it lasts till June. Here we go. I've still got a little bag there, but I'll just, I'm not sure what to do with them. So there's garlic in. It's easy. Bish, bosh, bash. I've just noticed my spinach. I'm not touching it, but that's, isn't that the kind of size you, you pick? You know, when you see it in the shops. So. I don't know whether to pick some spinach for tea. That might be I'm quite quite proud of myself. <laughs> I think I might gonna put me broad beans in this one and just actually because I know they say like rows and everything, but if I just put them the whole lot in, the idea being I can walk right around. Yes, I'll have to put like probably a, a cage up around the sides, maybe a little bit of string in the middle, but I can walk around that's the sea. You see, I'm even telling myself this. That's the beauty, see? You can just go right round of a, a raised bed. Obviously, I'm coughing there. That one's not a <laughs> prime example, but great ones are, you know, and you can just kind of wander around them. So I think broad beans in there. So these are the, the broad beans that I'm going for. Aqua Dulce Claudia, is that how you, 
height one metre and the best variety for autumn sowing that's the royal horticultural society says that and i got these from that dobbies we've got like a dobbies up here which is a different one and i think this is a is it a subsidiary of sutton's you know sutton seeds but that's the company where i get the the tomatoes from you know what i mean the the um the grafted tomatoes and they came actually this the seeds came in a box like that so the the seeds I find you know, like heart like things that are kind of bulletproof. They send in a decent box, but the the tender young tomatoes you just got to take a chance with them. Hello, lass. I put a little thing out there just for her. <laughs> this bed has just been kind of left just sitting now for a little while, so that's quite quite nice. So I'm hoping I can get these. I know young young Cameron's got his beans already planted or sown and he's sown them in pots so yep two centimeters down good was it two inches two inches you get a fair few in there mind you that's just like one packet and there's still spare ones over and i've if I'm honest with myself, I'll probably put in the, a little bit closer than the recommended uh, doors. But anyway, I'll probably keep them for next year, to be honest. And there's only, I think, me likes them. You know, and I mentioned we had the, the, the volunteer ones up there and they were lovely for me. But I have to have a bit of butter on, quite a bit of butter. You know, that's the kind of the beauty. What I love about coming up here, and especially if I'm, we're going to share and come up daily, is just getting up and planting or just being up. Yeah, there's some days it might not. Weather work might be a bit kind of naff and we've got to do something else, but just being out in this, this fresh air, I just, I itch to get up. I wake up about five o'clock, you know, I kind of stir and I'm kind of... I might have to get myself another one of these. I love these. Ah, that's a bit full, to be honest. That's not going to go in there. I need another one. Beans. Uh, uh, all right, all right. But <laughs> I'll stick it in the beetroot one for the time being. This box is just, seed box is just brilliant, to be honest. Remember, as I put them <laughs> in the beetroot one, I'm going to definitely get myself another one of these boxes. I'm just organised with it. There we go then. Mind you, this is the best time, I think. If you can get one, a garden or allotment or start, you know, like I've been mentioned, we're in this kind of month of, this is the best time because there's no pressure. You kind of, once it, like they say the April comes, you know what I mean? There's a lot of, not pressure, but there's a lot of kind of things to do and, and see, and it all just gets a little bit too much sometimes. But this is the time where you can take, relax and just enjoy it and learn a little bit, you know, and plant the odd one, just watch it grow. So, if you can, get yourself in the garden. Look after yourselves, take good care.